uh, for rising up to this challenge of engaging with Nigerians and creating the awareness that is much needed. And I think you are doing one of the big jobs that the Federal Ministry of Livestock Development have to do now, and that is creating the awareness, uh, exposing the opportunities in the sector, and trying to ramp up support you know, for, for the various sections of the Nigerian society so that they can key in into what is being planned. So thank you very much. And I think you have background information um, to the prelude to this discussion, as well as the contributions by the two earlier speakers, have really addressed quite a number of issues. And thank you so much to them for bringing that out. Importantly, I think, is Mr. President has done the job. It's now left for the stakeholders in the industry to now take it up, walk along it support the institution and ensure the success. Like all the earlier speakers as well as the background and many other discussions have highlighted, there is huge potentials in this sector for the Nigerian people. The opportunities you know, are numerous, just like in many other sectors. And this is what we need or what Nigeria requires at this critical period of time when we are really uh, trying to rebuild the economy, create a new focus, and, 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 and then deepen our democratic development. So these are very important uh, institutional and administrative frameworks that are being put in place. Now, for the Ministry of Livestock Development, I think happily there are two key functional departments in the Federal Ministry of Agriculture and Food Security that will serve at the initial anchor of the new ministry. And these are the departments of animal husbandry services and the department of veterinary and pest control services. These departments happily are manned by highly trained professionals with broad experiences in the livestock industry. And, the min and these two departments have institutional memories of what has been transparent. They have records of all the policies and programs uh, since, uh, like the Department of Veterinary Services, even before the colonial uh, Nigeria's independence. So there is huge array of intellectual resources at the disposal of the new ministry. The second one is we have research institutions and other agencies that are within the former Ministry of Agriculture that can easily move to the new Ministry of Livestock Development. And here I'm talking about institutions like the Nigerian Institute of Animal Science, the, the Nigerian uh, Animal Production Research Institute, NAPRI, which is located at Amadou Bello University, Zaria. Uh, we also have the National Veterinary Research Institute, one of the foremost, not only in Nigeria, but throughout Africa, that has specialized in the production of vaccines uh, for the management of various epidemic diseases, and which have made numerous contributions in animal diagnostic uh, services. And also, uh, the, within other institutions of the Federal Ministry of Agriculture, such as the Agricultural Research Council of Nigeria, there are quite a number of specialists and expertise. And of course, we have the various universities. They have faculties of veterinary medicine, faculties of animal science, I mean departments of animal science all over the country, and many colleges of uh, animal production, colleges of animal health, uh, colleges of Animal Nutrition are related professionals that the new ministry can easily draw from and create a very robust uh, human resource capacity. Again, innovation, extension are critical sectors and getting in to understand the various dynamics of the value chain developments. And here the ministry should capitalize on other arms of the former Ministry of Agriculture, the extension services, uh, and, and other areas, as well as the um, modern technology, I think they should all look outward, look at the various other ministries and institutions that exist within the Federal Republic of Nigeria and draw the required expertise, create the needed departments that will drive innovation, that will be technology driven, that will you know mobilize Nigerians and engage the private sector, that will be able to ramp up both public and private sector capital, private and uh, public sector financial resources to support the sector. And I think this is 
the challenge before uh, the Honorable Minister, and I hope he's going to pick that up. Like earlier speaker said, his experience in the field, he has brought national uh, experience and expertise in various sectors of the Nigerian economy, not only the livestock, and I believe that network will greatly support him. And happily, I think in the wisdom of Mr. President, he had also uh, deployed a permanent secretary who is a veterinarian who has the needed requisite experience, uh, you know, to ramp up the professionals in the sector to come on board. So I think the two formative departments, the Department of Animal Husbandry Services and the Department of Veterinary and Pest Control Services, and other agencies, the National Quarantine Services, the Institute of Animal Science, should all rally up around the minister. Get this ministry on board and then engage Nigerians, ramp up private sector investments, engage the local producers, and then we will see a new drive, a new you know, uh, appetite, you know, appetite to transform this sector and make it what Nigerians expect.